In this video, we're going to talk about working with Omnisphere in multi tamoral mode. Now, I've got patches loaded into each part. Here's part one, part two, part three, part four, etc. And in my host DAW, I've got one multi tamoral instance of Omnisphere loaded up, and you can see it here. And I have multiple channels all assigned to a different MIDI channel responding so that this one's on channel one, this one is channel two, channel three, etc. Now I have a little arrangement done up and I'm going to play it for you and we're going to look in the multi tamoral mode here and we're going to look at the parameters. Now on each of the eight parts I can set the MIDI channels here and by default they're set at one through eight and that's where I've left them at but you can change them as necessary. We have different level controls for each part. We have panning for each part and then we have some effects. So let's just listen a little bit and I have a kick drum that's coming from outside of Omnisphere. So I have different sounds on different parts and I've set up the effects rack so that I can dial in some effects. So let's look at the multi tamoral effects rack over here. And on aux one, I have a reverb and then a little tremolo after it so that the reverb is going from side to side. And then on aux two, I have the BPM delay and then a little envelope filter, which is one of the new Omnisphere 2.0 plugins. And it sounds fantastic. And we're going to look at automating and modulating the parameters in another video, but I have that on aux 2 and aux 3 I have a guitar amp, another new plugin in the or new effects unit in the Omnisphere 2.0 update and I have a guitar amp over here and we can dial in to have the sound processed with that as well. And on the master, I don't have anything, but I can put in maybe a tube limiter. Let's say I'll just leave that in for default. So let's play through this track and I'm going to dial up the amount of send that I want on each of these parts and you can hear it getting affected on a part by part basis. And here I'm going to dial up some guitar distortion. This is just a pad, I think I'm going to leave it as is. little bit of amp processing on that so we can hear everything going through all these effects now. So that's one way of using Omnisphere multi timbrely working all within the plugin using all the internal effects. Now alternatively we can route these to discrete outputs and treat them all separately within the DAW and to do that in these output fields we assign them instead of all going to output A, we can assign them to discrete outputs and then set up the DAW to receive each of these at discrete outputs. Now, when we do this, we're going to be bypassing all of the effects processing. The effects processing, by the way, defaults to going to output A. But let's bypass them and set this up so that we're going to individual outputs. And we'll just go to the effects page and just going to bypass each of these. You shouldn't hear it anyway, but I'm going to do it just to make sure. And when we go back here, we see that they're all relative to discrete outputs. I'm going to hide this for a moment and open up my DAW, and I'm going to click on additional auxes. This is how it's done in this particular DAW. And we can play the part, and we'll see each of the parts within Omnisphere arriving at these discrete aux tracks.
Now you can hear when I solo this one, we're hearing not only what's on part one, but also what's in the effects rack. And that's because we have send dialed up. So we're hearing the signal arriving at the auxes. I've bypassed the processing, so we're not hearing the processing. But to truly isolate and get only the sound of what's on part one, I would need to dial down all of these aux sends so that none of it is reaching output A as well. So let me do that real quickly here. And we should now be able to hear only part one on this first track. So that's an idea of two ways of working multi-timbrally in Omnisphere. See if more in the next video.